Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you guys so much for coming and watching my recital today. Um, yeah, my name's Olivia Nava. You all know that. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So over the last four years, I have experienced so much growth from where I was in high school. Studying music was genuinely one of the single most challenging things I've ever done. But it's been so rewarding and said to led to so much character growth. All of that hard work is now culminating in this recital performance. During the next hour or so, uh, I hope you all will let me show you uh, some of these skills that I've learned. The first piece that I just played was Spain by Dave w. David W. Brubeck. No relation to the Dave Brubeck of Take 5 fame. Um, it was dedicated to one of Brubeck's influential teachers, Frank Christopher Foley. All of the pieces in Brubeck's stereograms are dedicated to some influential musician. The next two I will play for you are number 1A, dedicated to James Pankow, and number 7, dedicated to Bob Mincer and Dave Taylor. Both of these were untitled beyond their, beyond their tempo markings, which in this case are moderato and funk, exclamation point, respectively. Thank you. 
as uh, explaining my personal journey uh, and hope for the future. Um, those three pieces uh, show where I've really come from. Um, before I came to college, I really would have called myself more of a jazz or like pop or funk kind of musician. Um, I didn't really do classical. Um, while I'm technically skilled, or I'm more technically skilled now, much of the idea that I've had for playing these, music, mu playing these last three pieces musically um, have been stuff that I picked up during that time, things that I learned while in high school that helped me play the pieces that I knew then better. This next piece, uh, the Levita of Concerto in One, uh, very clearly represents my own development in college. Um, it starts rather seriously, but it gets intense very quickly with regular breaks to more sweet sections, almost as if a nervous speaker is coming into their own and developing the, the themes mentioned. As they become more confident on those themes, they eventually start speaking so confidently that it's impossible to miss the lesson that they learned along the way. 
The Levitt of Concerto in one, to me, this piece represents my own development section, the struggles and learning opportunities that I had in college and are what I see in this piece and has really influenced how I play it. That's the development I think this piece represents. And so let's play the Levitt of Concerto.
All right, we will now take a short five minute break and be back in just a moment.
Thank you.
right. Thank you guys so much for coming back and enjoying that. Uh, that was the Halsey Stevens Sonatina. Um, it was first introduced to me by my teacher, Bill, last year. Um, he suggested that I play it just to learn it and enjoy it. And I honestly kind of fell in love with it. Um, it's exactly the kind of piece I would write if I were a, uh, a contemporary classical musician or a composer. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really fun piece, one of my favorites. <sighs> to me, though, in the overarching story of this recital and my time in college, it, it more or less represents the final result of a, of a speaker. They come in knowing their confidence and knowing their strengths. And while there is character development, that's not really one of them. What they learn how to do in this piece is come into their own, maintain their individuality and confidence despite all the influences that change them. To me, this more or less represents the final goal I achieved, what I achieved here in college. While I'm not perfect, I'm a much better player now than I was four years ago. And I'm much more confident in my own uniqueness and what makes me me. And that's where all the growth of the last four years has led me. Now, onto the Tom Ritter George, the final piece of the concert. Um, there's a common joke amongst LA studio musicians that there are only two types of songs. There are love songs and pirate songs. To use Star Wars as an example, uh, the Leia's theme is a love song, uh, and the opening theme is a pirate song. For the Ritter George Concerto, uh, the two primary themes introduced very early on into the piece are, are very much in aligned with this dichotomy. Um, the opening theme is a sort of adagio, kind of very legato, sweet sounding theme. While it is in minor uh, and doesn't necessarily give the theme of love, it is very much in that kind of style. Uh, whereas the second theme, which is shortly after the opening theme, uh, is very much in the style of a pirate song. It plays around with meter so much and it is very, not very quick, but quicker, uh, that it, it really shows that dichotomy, I think, very well. I more or less have been thinking of this piece as the sort of hope for the future part of my life. Uh, well, maybe not a LA studio musician. Um, I hope to end up somewhere halfway successful playing love and pirate songs when I get there. Uh, I think that would be, this piece represents my hope for that future, at least in the overarching concert. For now though, let's hear the love and pirate song, the Tom Ritter George Concerto for orchestra, or bass trombone and orchestra.
Thank you guys so much for attending my recital. It means so much to me that all of you could be here. Of course, I gotta give some name specific shout outs. Thank you to Bill Booth for being my mentor and just really good friend these past four years. Other than being a great musician, I just wouldn't be as good of a person if I didn't have you in my life. So thank you so much for that. Thank you to Dr. Steve Gross and Dr. Paul Bombach. Uh, other than my recital jury, the two of you have been really good friends and confidants also this last four years, and I'm happy to have you in my life. Uh, thank you to Dr. Natasha Kislenko. She did all the piano work. Um, great musician. <laughs> she continually knocked my expectations out of the park. Like there were so many times where she just sent me like one take or something and I'd be like, this is really, really good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, thank you to my mom uh, for supporting me all through these last four years and even longer, however long I've been playing music. Uh, I remember in high school, she used to take me with, she used to help me bring my like trombone and tuba and like the, my band's 50 plus drum pound drum and ah, 50 plus pound drum set to school. It was, ridiculous. We had to fit it in our small Toyota Camry. Come on, how? I love her. <laughs> Thanks to the rest of my family, uh, my dad, Kayla, Celeste, Matt, Rachel, for being just another source of support in my life. I love you guys and I would never trade you for anyone else. Uh, Thanks to all my friends, Julia, Hannah, Olivia Langner, uh, Tanner, Jonathan, and really everyone else I forgot to mention. I wouldn't have been able to get through college without a, all of you guys. And yeah, Thank you for that. Uh, there will be a short Zoom reception after hopefully future me has put the link in the description. We'll have to see. Um, <laughs> my name is Olivia Nava. Thank you guys so much for coming to my recital. Have a great evening.